How did uh, this make you feel tonight? So special. It was a shocker. I can imagine. I mean, how did you find out that they were going to do it? Uh... Well, uh, they told me I was doing a tour today because I usually do tours before the games, and this tour was just different. It was like the people were never coming. We, As we walked over, I started seeing like people that I see every day with purple on, and as we walked down the steps, I kind of seen like the uh, Twitter at WVU Women's Basketball thing in purple, and then I seen the girls. <laughs> it's one thing to be honored this way, but when you see the performance that they went out there oh, and yes. gave you today, how nice was that? Definitely. It was, it was a, a relief off my shoulders that they were able to win that big. We spoke with uh, Coach Gary about how you, you know, ended up in this position for West Virginia. And he said that you know you just started showing up and you you kept on working and you liked your loyalty and all that. Tell me a little bit about how you came to be a manager in West Virginia. Uh, well, I came in as a work study and I was actually being sent to baseball. And while I was like in the process process of doing paperwork, uh, Angela, our secretary, came in and said that they needed a uh, work study for basketball. Women's basketball, so I was like, well, I was a manager in high school, and I mean, I didn't know what was going to, you know, take place, and uh, for my freshman year, I was just in the office, and it was kind of boring, just counting papers and stuff like that, and uh, kind of at the end of the semester of the, my freshman year, I asked Tony, I was like, hey, can I come on to the court, and I've been on the court ever since. Um, December 31st, it was stage 2A, so the last day of the year, it was kind of, it was a good thing at the end of the year not to bring it in, you know, January 1st, but. What's, the, what's it been like in the time since your diagnosis? I mean, i just been fighting. I just use basketball as an outlet to, you know, keep myself getting up and keep going and. The, the staff and the girls are just so much support. So it's like, you know, I got to get to practice. And I always uh, fight with our head manager, Kyle, and he's a piece of work. So he's kind of like a good motivation to, like, let's go, buddy, let's go. So. I was say, I mean, they wear purple tonight and, and, and recognize you tonight, but I would think every day you're getting that kind of motivation yes. and inspiration from them. How much does that help you push through? It, it, it's definitely a pusher. To see all everybody wear their bands, and Coach Carey hasn't taken his band off yet, and the girls, some of the girls wearing on their sneakers, around their ankles. It's just everybody wants a band. Everybody wants to be on my team, and it makes me like just so happy, you know, to have so much support. And my family at home is able to, you know, be a little more relaxed, being as though I do have so much support here. Have you, uh, you know, obviously, when something like this happens, you can. And probably do for a while feel sorry for yourself and you know say why me and that but you seem to have I've never had questioned myself why me my biggest thing was me being in my last semester and finishing school out that was uh, that was does that I guess that takes your mind off everything yeah else, I mean. anything else for Solera all right okay thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.